Hi, this is Miles with your monthly market report for Suncoast Lakes. Have the report here fresh off the press. So we're now in March 2019, so we're going to look at February 2019, the month that just passed. Now the sales are in a little bit of a lower level than they were before. However, sales are still happening and more importantly, an important indicator for the real estate market and here in Suncoast Lakes is the inventory. So when the inventory was very high, we're having a lot of sales. Right now, the sales have slowed down. However, the inventory is going down as well. So that means homes are selling and new homes are not replacing them. So the inventory is going down. That's good because when you have a lower inventory, the market tends to favor the sellers. When you have an inventory that's going up or you know particularly high, that's when you're looking at a shift over to a buyer's market. And that's not happening in Suncoast Lakes right now. So there is steady activity. Uh, we do have an issue with price per square foot and home values in Suncoast Lakes. Uh, we're looking at a price per square foot of 103. Now there's one particular sale that's really dragging the values down in Suncoast Lakes because when a property sells, you then use that sale as a comparable for your home to establish a sales price and more importantly that's what appraiser looks at to establish values for homes in our community. So I actually called up the listing agent to find out what was going on with this property. I looked on public records, it's not a foreclosure, it's not a short sale. Uh, so I wanted to find out, you know, was there a roof leak or foundation issue or they have a tenant in there and they tore up the property? Nothing's wrong with the property at all. When I spoke to the agent, the agent told me they felt it was a disservice to buyers to charge more for the property. Ouch. Yeah, that's what I said. So at any rate, that's what's happening at Suncoast Lakes. If you have any questions, let us know.